Hey guys, welcome back to the Acne channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. I hope you guys have been enjoying my video so far. I hope it's been informative and helpful and engaging. Today's video is about common mistakes that's actually worsening your acne. I had pimples during my puberty years when I was 12 up into like 16, 17. My hormones were out of whack. And then when I started reaching my early 20s, I had severe cystic acne. So I've had my fair share of experience. I've done a handful of mistakes so I'm here to share my knowledge and I also want to say that I am so grateful for how my skin has transformed and I've been able to heal holistically if you're interested in my post pill journey definitely check out other videos on the Spanish acne channel and also pretty progress 23 so the first main mistake that people don't actually realize is to do with spot treatment Whenever you break out, whenever I break out, I used to go and grab my Maribodescu and spot treat on my face. So you'll see like pink dots all over my face. And I thought, yeah, this is actually helping. And there are a couple of reasons why I don't recommend spot treatment on a regular basis. Number one, you are simply treating the acne on your face, but you're not preventing it in the future. So that means this is a temporary solution. Number two, you're promoting these irregularities in your skin because only different parts of your skin is dry and the rest of your face is nourished and moisturized. So you don't wanna promote that irregularities on a long-term basis. The next one is that you're actually blocking your skin from breathing. So with spot treatment, I only recommend that for like postural pimples, like tiny, tiny ones. I don't recommend it for underground pimples because you're not allowing your skin to breathe. And when you don't allow your skin to breathe, you're pretty much adding layers of dead skin cells with the drying lotion, with dead skin cells and oils. And eventually, all the bacteria that is harbored underneath the skin is just gonna worsen. So I don't recommend spot treating for underground pimples. And if you do it too regularly, your skin is just going to produce more sebum. Because when you over dry your skin, your, your oil glands are gonna be like, oh my God, I don't have enough oils. I don't have enough moisture. And so it produces and tries to compensate for that. And again, you're promoting further irritation and inflammation. So if you are using topical treatments, make sure you're applying a thin layer all over your face and then go in with a moisturizer. So that's my number one tip. And also this is a common mistake that is prevalent and I hope none of you guys are doing this anymore. And let's go into our number two. Number two is to do with makeup wipes. So I know that many years ago it was like the craze, it was this is what you can use, it's convenient. And after a night out, after a long day, you're using your makeup wipes and it feels like good to like physically wipe off all the foundation off and you know the oils and stuff, but you're actually tugging at your skin. And it's not just about the, the obvious about tugging your skin, it's also that you're not thoroughly removing your makeup. So I'm somebody who has enlarged pores, you guys can see here that I have acne scarring enlarged pores, some indentations here as well. If I use a makeup wipe, it's not gonna get into the crevices of my indentations. And so it's not thorough enough, and as a result, it's gonna clog my pores the next day and I'm gonna break out. So I always recommend you guys to double cleanse. It's so important. So that means starting with a balm cleanser, a milky cleanser, or an oil to just kind of melt away the makeup in a very gentle manner and then follow up with your cleanser, whether that be like the all mint cleanser from Vanish, I love that. Like a foamy cleanser, anything that doesn't strip your skin from its natural oils. And your second method of cleansing allows you to remove all that makeup off. Number three is wearing a thick pore clogging sunscreen. SPF is so important for our skin. It protects our skin from the sun. And whenever you're using like active topical treatments for acne, your skin becomes more sensitive. So you've got to make sure you protect it with a layer. But then if you're wearing sunscreen throughout the day and it mixes with your oils and it's really thick and it has oils in it, it's, it's going to promote congestion. I always look out for sunscreen that is lightweight, doesn't have oils and it's non-clogging. Some of my recommendations are the ultraviolet sunscreen. We have La Roche-Posay. We also have um, Super Glue. Those are my three main SPF recommendations and I love them. So definitely check those out as well. Mistake number four is solely focusing on skincare. I think 
a lot of people out there, especially dermatologists, doctors, and even skin bloggers, just review skincare products. I absolutely love skincare from the bottom of my heart, but it is only one piece of the puzzle. If you're, because I've had acne for such a long time and it took me years of study, of working with a natural path and working with the right doctors, not your general doctors that kind of over prescribe your medication, with the right integrative holistic doctors that tell you that your body works as a system and you need to make sure you're focusing your liver, you focus on your gut, you focus on your immune system and I have a whole video on gut health if you want to check that out but basically when your immune system or your gut health is compromised it's not going to be functioning at its best and so your body is not detoxing the way it should and so instead it detoxes on your skin. If you have acne flare-ups, dull skin, have a lot of congestion, your body is asking you for help. To do this you need to make sure you're de-stressing, you're eating nourishing foods, you're making sure that you're supplementing because sometimes your diet isn't going to provide all the nutrients that your body needs especially if you're taking birth control pills in the past and your nutrients are depleted you need to supplement making sure that you exercise to increase that blood circulation and once you change your lifestyle you're going to see a difference in your skin and yes skincare is amazing and that should be a part of your, your routine and not just the only thing that you're doing to heal your acne and so if you're solely focusing on these active treatments and you're not getting results try to look at different parts of your life and see how you can better improve it. Number five is using hot water and us girls love hot water like it feels so good but it's actually ruining the outer mantle of your skin so your skin barrier needs to be protected but hot water kind of breaks that down and further irritates it so that's why you feel like your skin gets really hot and red now people say don't do your skincare in your shower however if you are using cool to cold water in your shower then it's absolutely fine and that's exactly what i do but i used to have lots of body acne on my chest my back and ever since changing to cooler waters to cooler temperatures my skin is a lot better Better. So avoid hot water, whether that be in your shower or in your sink, because you don't want to promote that irritation. You want to protect your skin. You can use warm water and then switch to cold water to kind of like close the pores, but your pores don't open or close, but it calms down the inflammation with cooler temperatures. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any other questions, definitely comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'm wishing you a lovely day and big kisses. Bye guys.